What's going on guys, Ryan Cow, we're back again with another video. Now I've been planning to do this video now for about two weeks and I've been talking with you guys in my Instagram live streams. Let's go ahead and jump into the video guys, how I color grade with Lutz. With the last in real life I've noticed. Losing focus, breaking up from our life as we know it. If someone had told me that I will take off and find something greener, greener than gold. Before we get into this, which you can already clearly tell by the title right down there what we're going to be doing, I want to talk about something. A fellow creator here on YouTube, Peter McKinnon, which if you're not subscribed to him, he puts out amazing content, so definitely go check him out. Just as of this morning, put out pretty much the exact same video that we're doing here today. I sent Peter an email and we chatted a little bit about um, the actual website that he used to sell his presets on. I got some feedback from him and he recommended that I do go with Selfie. It's a very, very simplistic website to sell digital products. <sighs> All right, so we're taking advantage of some of this beautiful natural light that I got coming through my window right now. I had to throw a diffusion screen right here because the blinds were causing lines across my face. Didn't look the greatest. All things aside, let's get into this and I'll show you how to use these LUTs. First of all, you may be wondering what exactly a LUT is. It's sort of like a filter that you'd put over a photo in Lightroom, Instagram, you name it. Uh, it's basically the same concept. Down in the description, you're gonna find a link where you can go check out my presets. They will be available for you guys to pick up. Once you download that, it's going to come as a zip folder. You're going to go ahead and extract that, which I've already done here. And then we can open up Premiere Pro and get working. All right. So we've opened up a new sequence here and I've gone ahead and already put in some example clips. And these were actually the same clips that you guys saw in the intro of the video. So the way that we're going to go ahead and apply these LUTs that you've just downloaded in the bottom left hand corner over here, we're going to click new item and click new adjustment layer. Go ahead and click OK. And that's going to pop one up in the little project browser here. Now what you can do is go ahead and drag that adjustment layer and put it over top of your footage. Now, so the next step is go ahead and pull up the Lumetri color panel. We do that by up in the top clicking window, workspaces, and clicking on color. There's also a hotkey for it. It's Alt Shift 4. Sometimes up in the top, you actually may have the little tabs available for you already. Now, before we go ahead and apply the LUT to this adjustment layer, what I like to do is go through the clips individually and apply some basic adjustments just to get them to look real good prior to the LUT. So we'll click off the adjustment layer and click on to each clip individually and go ahead and start playing with the basic corrections. So this could be stuff like exposure, contrast, highlights, you name it. Just make the clip look how you think it should look. There we go. I think we're looking a lot better than how we started. So now let's go ahead and click on the adjustment layer. And up in the top again, we're going to click on input LUT, click browse, and then we're going to go find them where we downloaded them. So for this particular one, we're going to grab, how about cinematic warm? So right off the bat, way too strong. And I did this intentionally because a lot of people's footage is gonna kind of vary in terms of its characteristics right out of camera. And what I mean by that is like saturation, contrast, sharpness, etc. So the great thing about adjustment layers is you can go in the effects panel over in the left hand side, make sure you turn off keyframes and you can bring down the opacity of the layer, more or less like an adjustment of the strength of the LUT. So I'm thinking right around like maybe 62% looks pretty good. Let's actually fast forward to one of the other clips and see how it looks. Not too shabby. Now with each of these LUTs, some are gonna look better on certain types of footage than others, meaning certain types of lighting scenarios with bright sunlight or if it's kind of flat and dark. It's worth playing around with each one of these to really kind of see how it works with your footage. So let's go up top here and change it actually to, hmm, let's try the classic. The way I designed the classic was to be sort of a typical teal shadows, orange highlights, very traditional cinematic look. Again, let's play with the opacity just a little bit here to see what we can pull out. Don't want too much. That's 
looking pretty good. Let's move on to a different example of clips and try a handful more. Drag another adjustment layer out over top of some clips. So these are snow clips. Now right off the bat, they're kind of flat and boring. I developed a lot particularly to give a very cold look and this one is called iced out. So let's drop that on there right off the bat looking pretty good. So you can see the before and after as I turn this track on and off, what it does. Starting with a fairly neutral clip that doesn't really portray any sort of emotion or mood toward the footage. But as we apply the iced outlet, it immediately cools down, kind of drops the shadows, adds a blue tint to everything, makes it look a lot colder. It makes you feel like it's cold. Another one of my favorites that I've developed, I call Moody Blues. This is a very, very sort of dark blue and magenta LUT that's going to more or less sadden your footage, if that makes any sense. It pulls down the overall levels of the clips and drops the shadows and then tosses in a bunch of blue and magenta to really give it this sort of sad feel. Now, why would you intentionally want to make your footage sad? Well, in some scenarios, that can be exactly what you're looking to portray, some sort of sad, deep, depressed feel. Now, obviously with this particular clip, it's way too intense. So we could individually go in and reduce the opacity of the effect. Around 50% looks much better. I'll show you the before and after. Now this one's probably my absolute favorite and I call this one murder scene. It adds this really deep sort of green grunge to everything and kind of mutes other colors in it. So it just seems like it's almost like a, a horror scene. Again, we can kind of play with the opacity of it to just dial in the look we're after. Right about there, 80% roughly immediately takes it from kind of just plain and boring neutral parking garage to wow okay somebody might have just died in here now again guys like i've said some of these luts are going to look better on certain types of footage than others i highly suggest playing around with all of them shoot a large variety of footage and just go to town each of these luts is also going to require a little bit of manipulation in order to really get it to look as it should on your clips it's never really going to work as just a complete drag and drop and that shouldn't be an expectation that you have when it comes to creating photo and video. All things are going to require a certain amount of sort of finesse and manipulation in order to really get them to look how you want to look. So that's it guys, that's all I have for you today. If you guys do decide to purchase the LUT pack, seriously, thank you so much, it supports me a lot. And the reason that I decided to go ahead and put this out there is because so many of you guys are learning. It seems as though I've developed an audience that is just super hungry to get out and start learning stuff with both photo and video. And a lot of people can have a difficult time finding a starting place. So a pack like this is gonna give you guys a nice little platform to get started and get moving and get some ideas flowing into your head so you can really just start grinding and creating. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the support. Thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. 